Hey Tires, Darren here, back with another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying the Battle Creek Special. This is basically a pink and white woolly bugger that's fished as an attractor pattern or a flesh pattern or an egg fly. So to fish this rather than casting specifically to individual fish or behind spawning pairs, it can be dead drifted in the main current and just when you're fishing the fly you'll want to use a series of casts to make sure that you're covering all the waters so that you're using it as a searching pattern. The fly is pretty simple and as I said it's basically a woolly bugger but it's an interesting looking one. Today we're tying it on a salmon hook and the source for this is Flies for Alaska by Anthony Rout. Let's have a look at the materials and get started. Alright, let's get a fresh hook in the vise. I'm tying with a number two steelhead heavy wire salmon and steelhead hook and I'm using pink six aught thread, uni thread. We'll start in at the eye and we'll wrap down just to the hook point and then we'll wrap back up just to the return eye here. Trim that. I'm going to use two marabou plumes got some nice ones that will make nice tails so you can either bunch these up and tie them in like that or you can actually pull the fibers right off the stem and tie them in um, just depends on the quality of your marabou this one's pretty good so I'm gonna tie it in as a whole feather it's a little bit easier I'm going to stack the second one right on top. I'm just going to make sure that that stays on top of the hook shank. And we'll wind that down. And then we'll wind back up just to make sure it's secured. Cut off those butts. I'm going to take a couple strands of pearl crystal flash, probably two or three is plenty. This is can be used as a bugger or a flesh pattern. So I don't like to use too much flash, probably three per side is about my maximum. And uh, if you don't have the crystal flash, you can use flashaboo. Works quite well also. So we just trim that up on both sides. Next we're going to tie in a piece of silver oval tinsel or silver wire, whatever you got. We'll just tie that along the side closest to us. Make sure it's in there secure. And then I'm going to pull out this gem. This is some old chenille. Bought for 20 cents a card. Uh, probably this is older than I am, I think. Alright, so we'll just tie in. Our chenille here. Right at the back, wrap our thread forward, and I'm going to put this on the rotary. So I'm just going to add half hitch. I'm just going to wrap that gently forward. 
If you don't have a rotary vise, you just have to do it hand over hand to the front. I just want to make sure we lock that in place. Right, now I'm going to take a piece of white schloppen. I'm going to take the fluff off the bottom, trim the stem a little bit. And we're just going to wrap that in at the eye. Fold the stem back to secure it. I'm going to pull that feather out and just run my scissors along. So this is basically a woolly bugger tied with a little bit bigger hackle than what you would normally use. Normally we're going to use a saddle hackle. The schlappen has a, it's a bit more webby and uh, the fibers they lay down and get a little bit more movement in the water with them. Right, try that again. It's probably a good idea. Use uh, some hackle pliers here, but don't have any handy, so one thing I do when I don't have hackle pliers, I just make sure I put my thumb to stop that from unraveling. All right. So we're going to counter wrap that. So what you want to do is just wrap over the feather there and we're going to wiggle this as we wrap it up and we want to make sure that we're crossing over the stem of the schlappen just it's going to lock it in place I'm going to wiggle it through up top here and we'll tie that off at the eye away that excess. Next I'm going to tie in a pink neck hackle. This one I think is a shrimp pink from Superfly. So I just pull back all the hackle fibers. I'm just going to find a nice tie-in point. Give it a few wraps. Fold back the tip of the feather. Make sure it gets secure, pull the tip off, and again we're just going to run the scissors along that uh, feather stem, then we're going to wrap. It's important just to make sure that you, when you're wrapping you pull everything backwards on the top and at the bottom basically. And we're just going to do a few tight wraps So we get to the head, then we'll lock this in place. A couple wraps on the both sides of the feather stem. Trim that off. And one more whip finish on there just to make sure it's secure. A little bit of head cement. There you go, Battle Creek Special. Thanks for stopping by my fly tying channel and watching my tutorials. If 
you're new here and like this sort of thing, why not hit that subscribe button? I'd love to hear from you, so if you have anything to say, leave it in the comments below. Until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vice. Cheers.